The polar vortex is a huge persistent area of low pressure that sits over the North Pole and in winter acts as a vault for very cold Arctic air. Now in a normal year, this cold air is released gradually and bursts as the jet stream meanders around. However, this year the polar vortex has been unusually strong. This has kept the Arctic air locked away for longer, allowing it to get colder and colder over time. But with a big southwards dip in the jet stream taking place, it'll open the floodgates to extremely cold, dense air seeping southwards across the US and Canada. The severe cold will lead to what is being described as the most intense winter weather that the US and Canada has seen for around 20 years. Daytime temperatures are set to be 15 to 20 Celsius below average, with temperatures on Tuesday getting no higher than minus 13 in New York City and minus 26 in Winnipeg. And if the low temperatures weren't enough, the US National Weather Service is warning that there'll be wind chills that could result in frostbite in less than 10 minutes in the coldest places. Well, thankfully, this life-threatening cold weather is only temporary as there's going to be a surge of warmer air pushing northwards by the end of the week. As you can see here, the extremely cold air shown by the pink and blue colours moves away by Friday, with temperatures in New York and many other places returning to the positive side of freezing in time for the weekend.